Many people discovered gaming during lockdown as a way to connect with other people and gamers had more time to game. Video games can make this isolating period of our lives more social besides restrictions. They ease our minds with a calming surrounding or make us smile. So without further ado, here are my top 10 games for lockdown. The longing captures the feeling of waiting in a game. Your main goal is to wait for 400 days for the king to return. We are talking about actual 400 days in real time. This might sound boring, but it gives the game a unique game mechanic. It is meant to be played in small sessions over a long period of time, where you have to remember your long time goals in your next gaming session. You can explore the vast world where some obstacles need days or weeks to be solved. It is important to save interesting locations in order to walk back to them when you are able to explore them further. Moreover, your character moves extremely slow, but it continues to move when your game is closed in real life. Most of the time I select a spot where I want my character to be, turn off the game and come back to the game in a few days when my character will be at the designated spot. When you are doing something interesting like reading a book in-game or building your home base, time goes by faster in-game. Katana Zero is not comforting but challenging. It will focus your mind on nothing else but the game itself. It plays in a dystopian future where you are trained to kill. You can alter time with a drug named Kronos, which makes you undestroyable in theory as you plan all of your moves ahead. In reality, you will have to retry very often, as it is extremely hard to master. You can slow down time, reflect bullets when you hit them at the right moment, and splash through enemies in high speed. It is one of the best platformers I played in a long time. Tearaway Tearaway is a game that just makes me smile. It is one of the best games released for the PS Vita and focuses on creativity. The art style is magical. It feels like you are sucked into a children's book with delightful storytelling, where you also have to solve puzzles. The game makes full use of the Vita's different input methods without it feeling forced. You feel immersed in the game, which is accomplished by a mix of breaking the third wall in-game and showing you on screen. This game is not only for children, but for everyone who enjoys a relaxed game with unique gameplay. Pokemon Snap hit me with nostalgia. For everyone growing up with Pokemon, it is a beautiful trip back to our favorite 90s anime. You are making pictures of Pokemon while riding on fixed trails in different environments. Afterwards, you can edit your favorite shots and share them with other players all over the world. Something about the world of Pokemon just makes me feel safe, which is really appreciated in times like these. Just Dance will get you to do exercise without feeling like actual exercise. The game comes with about 40 pre-installed songs, however you can download more songs for an extra charge. Each song lets you choose between different dances so that there are even more choreographies to master. The game series is released every year, this way you can choose which songs you like the best. I would recommend to buy an older version of the game, as they are just as good, but cheaper. You could technically cheat by only moving your hand with the controller in the displayed way, but you don't want to cheat in this game. It is more about the progress than the result. Among Us is similar to games like Werewolf or Secret Hitler. It uses its game mechanics to make the players discuss who acts suspicious. You are thrown into a space shuttle, where you either solve simple puzzles as a crew member on board or assassin your teammates. The fun part is to talk with your friends about suspicious people or arguing your way out of a difficult situation. Gartic Phone 
this choice might seem odd, but Gartic Phone is a real hit with friends. You take turns in writing a sentence and then drawing the sentence, which results in hilarious outcomes. To communicate with your friends, you can use Discord or Skype, for example. The best part is that it can be played anywhere with an internet connection. It is a browser game, which means that you don't have to install the game, and it's free. Stardew Valley is the spiritual predecessor of Farmville. You can play with up to three other friends. The game is about building up your farm and making lasting connections with the villages nearby. You can also explore the mines and fight or train other skills like fishing. This is a game where you make up your own goals, like getting married to an in-game character, building the most aesthetically pleasing farm, or being super efficient with producing food. RuneScape is a 20-year-old MMORPG with an active player base. You can choose between RuneScape 3, the most up-to-date version of the game, and old-school RuneScape which is based on a copy of the game in 2007. Both games will give you years of playable content. The quests are written in a unique Dungeons and Dragons campaign-like manner. And there is an in-built game chat, which lets you connect with people all over the world. RuneScape is a game where you can skill, master challenging boss encounters, or just chill and talk to your online friends for hours. Animal Crossing New Horizons. This list wouldn't be complete without Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing was released at the beginning of the pandemic. I remember vividly how I played the game for hours during the first lockdown of my life in 2020. Before that, I only knew the game because my younger cousin used to play it on the Game Boy DS. However, it didn't seem like a game I would enjoy. I don't like The Sims or other life simulation games, but I was completely wrong about Animal Crossing. There is always something you want to do in Animal Crossing. Make your island more beautiful, harvest your fruits, make more money, or hunt for all animals or fossils in-game. It is not a normal life simulation, but takes you to a cute fictional island, where Tom Nook and his horrendous loans are your only problems. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think about this new type of content. It's called a listicle, where you combine an article with a list. Have a nice day and goodbye.